I ended up hollering at one of my boys. Uh, he, he hit me up. He's like, hey, man, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube. You know, Justin Royal? I was like, yeah, girl, those are my neighborhood. Oh, they like to splash you. They're going nuts. I gotta get this rigged up. If I can get over there in that, they'll eat. Come on. Get this fluke right over there. Watch this. Yeah, not good. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we are continuing the Bank Beater Heater Series Part 3 coming at you live and direct in full effect right here in this one today. As some of you guys probably already know, Beetlejuice had a little hiccup with the trolling motor. Trolling motor caught the Rona, had to get it into the shop, so that rendered me boatless. And instead of just sitting around the house moping about it, I decided to grab some rods, throw them in the truck, head on down to the water and do some fishing. So that is what this series is about. The Bank Beater Heater Series. Three parts in already. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun shooting it for you. To be honest with you, it's been kind of nice, you know, just grabbing a couple rods, throwing them in the truck, heading down to the water and getting after it without having to hook up a boat and launch a boat and do all the kind of stuff that comes along with fishing from a bass boat. As much as I love to fish from the boat, it's been cool fishing from the bank as well. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. A couple quick things that I'm gonna mention before we rip off in this this one if this is your first time watching or if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel i put out new fishing videos here all the time and i would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here trying to color in this bar all the way to the top hit that 100k and obtain that elusive youtube silver play button can't do it without you i would love to have your support it is the number one way you can support the channel help us grow and it costs you nothing so if you have fun hanging out with me today down there by the water sub to the channel Help us color in the bar here on the subscriber board. This is the subscriber board. This might be your first time seeing this. We've been coloring in these notches, 1,000 subscribers at a time for a while now, all the way up to 15,000, trying to hit 16K, and then eventually 100K, hopefully, maybe one day with your help. Ride along with me, sub to the channel, kick those notification bells on, you'll catch all the future content. Now, if you guys watched the last episode in the series, Bank Beater Heater Series Episode 2, you saw that they were eating the fluke, and we're gonna go ahead and continue that pattern in this one. Soft plastic jerk bait one of my absolute favorite ways to fish beating the banks with the fluke that's what we're gonna be doing I think you guys are gonna have fun with me down there on the water you can see a little bit of adversity so without any further delay let's rip off head down to the water and get into this bank beater heater series part three let's go all right back down here the bank beater heater series is in full effect this is part three it's a beautiful morning I'm rolling back down here with the fluke to start out with see if we can find us some eaters man I'm starting in the same spot where we caught those last few in the previous bank beater heater series video if you haven't seen the first two episodes go check those out getting back to our roots found a tennis ball that'll work throw that up here towards the truck almost fell in the water Enzo will like that that'll be a nice nice little treat for him hopefully I can remember to pick that up on the way back to the truck Back to our roots, fishing from the bank. They did not want the top water yesterday. The fluke was the deal. So that's what I'm starting out with today. Hopefully we can creep up on a couple, make it happen. Starting out super shallow. Let's see if there's any hanging out. Oh, that was great, dude. That was great. That's a way to start the day right there. Gotta remember to check behind me, because that is definitely a thing. Tree behind me, I'm not used to that. It's been a while. That was not the way it started out. On day one, we started out a little rough as well. Got the catwalk snagged on a mooring buoy out in the middle of the cove. Had to swim out to it, get it back. So that was fun. If you guys wanna see me swim out to the middle of the lake to get that catwalk smoke, catwalk smoke rescue mission, that's part one of the bank beater heater series. But anyways, let's see if I can do this again. There we go. Come on, buddy. It took us a little while to find them last time. It was nada, 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 nada. Boom, boom, boom. Caught three fish. Two fish makes a video. We got one extra. And they all came at the very end of the morning on the fluke. I don't know. Maybe they're, you know, getting fired up a little bit later. I didn't start seeing fish until it had to be close to 10 a.m. It's 8 a.m. right now. So we might, uh, might have to put in some work to get a hold of them today. But I'm willing to do it, man, if you guys are willing to to ride with me out here on the banks. Oh, there's one up there shallow chasing though. Chasing blow ups. I talked a little bit about that in the last video too, how I was gonna 
I was gonna name my channel Chasing Blow Ups. Yeah, I almost started a whole new channel and I was gonna call it Chasing Blow Ups. But instead I just changed the channel name to my name. We kept riding right here on the same channel that I started back in 2014, dudes. I've been doing YouTube for six years. Crazy. Shout outs to everybody who's been here since Justin the Apparition. You guys have been down since the get down. You've been riding with me for a long time. I appreciate you all. I appreciate all the new people too. Thanks for tuning in. If you've uh, enjoyed hanging out with me down here on the banks and you want to see more bank fishing videos, even when Beetlejuice is back in action, go down in the comments and let me know if this is something you guys have been enjoying. I'll be honest, I've been enjoying it. Just coming down here and not having to hook up a boat. Just kind of blow and go. Rip off in the morning. Throw a couple rods in the boat or in the truck. I mean, and uh, get down here and start fishing, you know. It's, it's been kind of nice. I'm down to do more if you guys want to see it. So just let me know. Give me that feedback. Nothing doing right here. Start beating the banks. Bank beater heater series. He smacked it. First one on the day. On the fluke. Bank beater heater series engage, old son. Let's go. Chill, buddy. They're fired up. All right. Number one on the day. On the fluke. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, there we go. Got us one on the fluke. He roasted it out there a little deeper. He unleashed the fury. Full blown smug walk. See if he's got friends. Where's your fat friends? Oh my gosh, there's his fat friend right there. Did you hear that? He's over here straight busting boys. Hammerhead annihilation, dude. Fish unleashed the fury. Chasing blow ups. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But when I see him smashing like that, dude, I try to throw into that action. Yeah, I'm starting to hear him crack off everywhere. They're getting active, getting fired up. Let's keep moving. We can rat it out, boys. That bird just squealed on us. Oh, I just had another one hit it. He came up and grabbed it, but I missed him. Just had a hit right there, dudes. Will he come back for it? What's up, dude? I'm good, brother. How are you? Yeah, Beetlejuice is down for the count. Hopefully be back soon. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Non-stop. Every day. It's always something. What about you? How's the podcast going? Uh, I hear you. I, know, I understand that, man. It's been rough. Still trying to get some footage in? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm shooting every day. It's the third day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did pretty good the past couple days, so. Yeah? Yeah, one so far today, but we're back at it. I ended up hollering at one of my boys. Uh, he, he hit me up. He's like, hey, man, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube. You know Justin Royal? I was like, yeah, girl, those are my neighborhood. Yeah, guy, yeah, man. yeah, you know know me. Yeah, so yeah. I deployed with him twice, and he's in Ohio, and he loves your shit. That's awesome, He started man. buying the 6 cent Super Sacks after you. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I, love, I love hearing he stuff like that. He started using your codes and everything. One so of these what's days. What's the word on Beetlejuice? Hope, I mean, I'm going to call him today, hopefully, hopefully real quick now. Yeah. I'm just waiting on a part from Minkota. Control, control board. Control yeah, board. yeah, yeah. I feel like for the most part, you kind of just like do your own thing, anyways, right? Yeah. So catch me on the, catch me on a boat solo, dude. That's my thing, anyway. You know, yeah, I, exactly. I, my 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 team's small but strong. You know, what's good chopping it up with you, man. I'm gonna get back after it. Yeah, man, Hit me up good. anytime, brother. You got my number. Yeah, All right, dude. Y'all be safe. It's getting toasty already, dude. It's time to strip the hoodie. One fish at spot number one. All right, spot number two. Instead of uh cracking them over the head with the catwalk first thing i'm gonna go over here silent but deadly mode with the fluke smoke see if they want that first Ooh, there's one busting out there see if they uh want the fluke first and then i might try to throw a little top water if they don't hit the fluke over here but i don't want to go in here making a lot of noise right off the bat so try to keep it quiet go subsurface if they don't want to hit this we'll try to switch it up a little bit
came unbuckled on me. Just a little dude, a little dinkster. But that would have been fish number two right there. Three bites, one fish, one out of three. Ooh, just have one bump it. He's on it. Nice. Fish number two on the day. And two fish makes us a video. All right. All right. Just a little dude, a little Peter Dinklage, but hey, I'll take him. He made the video for us, buddy. It's been quiet there for a few minutes. I started to get worried. Like, uh-oh. I'm starting to hear them smack left and right. They might be just now getting fired up. Hopefully, that's the deal. But either way, that's fish number two. Later, dude. Maybe he's got friends over there by the boat ramp. I pitched right on the end of the ramp there. He came up and smug walk. All right. Two for the vid. Bank Beater Heater Series Part 3. Let's see if we got any more ramp roamers. Cover the boat ramp really good. There's one. Nice. Feels like a nicer fish. Right on the end of the boat dock. Number three. Three piece in a biscuit. It's a little bit nicer than that last one. What up, dude? Thanks for joining us here on the Bank Beater Heater Series. Fluke smoke, getting it done. That's three piece in a biscuit. Yee. Healthy little chunk there. He been eating. He got a belly on him. All right. Look. Go ahead and let him go here on the ramp. Oh, they like to splash you. Yeah, that was great. They like to splash you when they take off. That's kind of their thing. Yeah, I'm starting to hear fish uh, blow up out there in a little bit deeper water with some frequency. So I think the fish are just kind of turning on just now, you know. Might be, that might be what's happening. One, two, three, three blow ups right there within the time I took to say that sentence. Hopefully we can get us a couple more, man. Four is more, Johnny Five is alive. Either one of those things would be great. Fishing from the bank out here, trying to get it done. Let's go. Give you guys a gear breakdown really quick on this cast. 7-2 mf -er series from Six Sense. Medium heavy, moderate fast action. Shimano SLX DC reel. 15 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. Four rot EWG light wire. Gamakatsu worm hook. Zoom Salty Super Fluke. Lavender Shad, weightless. That's the deal. Pitching and twitching. Let's go. If you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know I love throwing a soft plastic jerk bait. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. And that was uh that was what they were eating yesterday. That's what they've been eating for me so far today. So sticking with it for now. Got the catwalk smoke with me. I also have a Texas rig in the truck. So we got some options, but I'm riding with that black lavender for right now. If you get that reference, go down in the comments. Let me know what that's from. Black lavender. R.I.P. Black Lavender. Right, let's keep rolling. Let's see if we can get us another one. My shorts are wet from that last fish splashing me. So you see how my shadow pointing that way? There's a little tip. Keep your shadow out of the water. You can see a bunch of bluegills stacked up right here under the dock. And there was a bass just hit something out there. Came flying out of the water when he did it. But yeah, when you first roll up on a spot from the bank, keep your shadow out of the water. Incognito stealth mode make a couple casts from up here back further on the bank just in case there's anybody sitting up shallow and then if you don't get any hits you can work your way down here make your presence known to these small fish and make a, some casts out a little bit deeper keep that in mind man keep that shadow out of the water for at least a couple casts before you make your move down to the edge, to the water's edge. Just in case there's a baddie sitting around somewhere. There he is. Oh, you see him come up and see? Oh, he came off. Dang, I gave him all day to eat it too and he still came unbuckled on me. Dude, that was, uh, that was awesome. He came up right here in front of us and just smoked it. Oh, one just bumped it. Got me fouled up. Just had one bump on it, dudes. Just look at the bait. Salty Super Fluke. Lavender Shad. My go-to color right here. Chasing blow-ups. Look at them right there, hitting, 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 hitting. You see those bass chasing right there? 
right out there in front of us. They're going nuts. I gotta get this rigged up. If I can get over there in that, they'll eat. Come on. Get this fluke right over there. Watch this. There we go. Number four. Four is more. He feels stuck. Right over there by that tree. Oh. Three piece. Back down to three piece in a biscuit. <laughs> Dang. Almost had him. He felt stuck, dude. I jinxed myself. I jinxed myself by counting him before I had him in my hand. And we done missed a couple fish out here today, boys. We would have had at least five. I hadn't had those come loose on me. That's the way she goes. Three fish so far. Same as yesterday. Not the best, but not the worst either. Two fish makes a video. We got the plus one on the day. Yeah. Not good. That's not gonna work. Dang. Not gonna last long like that. All right, I'm a little late, but I'm down here at last light. Try to see if we can get us one more before it gets dark. I'll be lucky to get one fish before it's too dark to see on camera. Either way, I'm gonna try. Got three fish this morning. I'm trying to crack off a couple more for the video. See if we can make it happen. Bank Beater Heater Series, part three. Down here on the redemption mission, trying to get number four. Let's go. Trying to move quick. I'm running out of light. Got the boat, got the boat traffic chop rolling in. There we go. Got one. Yes. Stay on. Fish number four. All right. Redemption mission was a success. A little little peter dinklage but hey we got us another one yes later dude all right that'll do that'll do pig that'll do hopefully you guys can see it's getting dark quick let's go hit the boat ramp real quick i see some and hear some busting over here we got one more shot at it final fight You guys aren't gonna be able to see for much longer. We got a minute or two left on this camera. This is gonna be full blown darkness. I probably got like five casts at the most to make here before we run out of daylight totally. But I'm gonna make them. We're out of light, boys. It's fun while it lasted, but it's gonna be it for me. Two bites, one fish. Not bad. They're not eating top water today. And I am out of light. It is what it is. All right, down here in Wifey's Rod, because it got a flat in my truck yesterday, driving all around the lake off road. Uh, it's always something. They're down here cracking, starting off with the fluke. Let's see if I can get a couple more down here in this bank beater heater series. Waited, let him take it, full-blown, drove the hook set home, dude, and he still came off. There we go. Got that one. He's on. Feels like a nice fish. It feels like a real nice fish. He's running, dude. Look him running out. He was just running out towards the lake. He gave up. First one on the day on the fluke. It's a decent chunk too. Yes, sir. I'll take that all day. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that's a chunk, dude. 
That's more like it, man. Finally, got us an eater. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sunrise. Now they're kicking on. Sun's getting up, starting to hit the water a little bit. That's two bites in a row. Yeah, you can see them kicking off all along the shoreline now. Now the bass are moving up. I'm stoked on that one. You ready? Go back. In. Oh, better dude. Oh, he got me wet. And he caught me a fish. Hard fighter too. He was taking off out towards the lake. I thought he was bigger, but. Shoot, that was a decent one. Bigger than any of the fish we caught yesterday. Fish number five in the video. Back down here for the third time in this one. Bank Beater Heater Series Part 3. Trying to get a little bit more than three fish for this video for you guys. Came down here right at sunset yesterday. And uh, got one little dink over here on the fluke. But that right there was more like it. I ain't mad at it. Let's see if he's got friends. There's another one, two in a row. Oh, he came off though. Dang. He did have friends. Two in a row, that would have been. They're up here eating now, boys. Took them a little while to, took them a little while to get kicked on, but they're kicked on. It's like three, three bites in a row on the fluke. I got one over there by that tree and cast it up here in the cut. Caught that one and cast it back over there. Had another one on for a second, but. He popped off. Would have been six in the mix. I'm just glad we came down here and Johnny Five came alive. I think I'm gonna work my way back towards the boat ramp and then if I don't get any more bites over here, I might go back to the cove where we started. There's one right here on the boat ramp. Saw him come up and eat it. Just a little dude. Is that a guad? Yeah. Guadalupe bass. Little bitty dude. Saw him run up and just eat it right here on the boat ramp, right in front of me. Pretty cool. Six in the mix. Guadalupe. Later, dude. Boom. Yeah, he chased it all the way up. There we go. Get over here. number seven in this video man now we're starting to put a little video together man number seven i ain't mad at it he is stuck oh son number seven yee all right i'm gonna toss you later buddy he gone There he is, chasing blow-ups. Saw him up there in the shallows, <laughs> chasing bait. And I put the fluke literally up in like an inch of water, up up here, like on top of these this little shelf of rocks that you can see right here in front of me. And this little dude came up and smacked it. I could see him over there chasing minnows around. Didn't know he was gonna be this small. Eight is great. Oh, 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 dude, I'm trying to get you back in the water, old son. Make it happen. Oh, whoa. He did a donut. You're all good, dude. And now you're back out there eating minnows. Way to go. That was cool. I mean, he was like right here. He ate it right off the edge of the shore in like an inch of water. Just a little mini yeet chasing those blow ups, man. There we go. Oh, man. He spit it. That would have been divine number nine right there. If we could have got that one. There we go. They're eating. They're eating the fluke this morning. Yes, sir. This dude is fired up and fighting. Come on in here, buddy. A little bit nicer fish. Number nine in part three. Bank beater heater series going down. Can we get 10 for the win? Yet to be determined, but I'm stoked on the ninth fish in this video, man. It took me a couple days to uh to get all nine of them for you. Put a little video together, a little bit better than three fish. But we did it. We're doing it. We're doing it, man. We're riding the stick of the action. Number nine. Sweet, dude. I ain't mad at that. Let him go. See if we can let him go without getting splashed. 
Nope. Nine is Devon. Can we get 10 for the win, old son? Let's see what's up, man. Let's cast back out there. There's a couple little trees sitting right off the shoreline, and I'm just casting over near them. Pitching and twitching the fluke. You guys know the deal. That weightless fluke smoke. One of my favorite ways to fish. See if he's got. See if he's got a buddy. Release your buddy. He's got a buddy. He's gonna stay on. I'm not even gonna say the number. I'm not even gonna say the number. I don't wanna jinx myself. But could it be? Could this be? 10 for the win. <laughs> 10 for the win. Bank beater heater series. Engage. Sweet, dude. Started out slow. Fished for about an hour with nothing. Whoa, he... What's up, dude? You're, you can't swim up here. You gotta let me put you in the water if you wanna swim. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Number 10. That's a pretty fish. White and gold and green. Better, dude. Yeet. He gone. Let's see if he's got another friend. Let's see if we can get 11. 11th heaven for part three. Part three ended up being the numbers video. I thought this was going to be the struggle bus video, but shoot. I'm glad I came down here again. Got up early before the sun. Got down here. Tried to get a hold of some more fish for you guys. We're making it happen. Let's go. Does he have another one over there by this tree? Release all your buddies. Somebody's lost a shoe. Hey, golf ball. Uh, that just reminded me that I forgot to, uh, I forgot to pick that tennis ball up yesterday. All right, so we are back to spot number one and I spotted something as I was pulling up. My tennis ball is still here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that from my boy Enzo back at the house. He loves to play fetch. All right, free tennis ball. Let's get down here and see if we can get us another one. All right, no luck over here yesterday, but you never know. Some might have moved back over here into the shallow. So I'm gonna fish these trees and then work my way back towards the boat ramp. And if I don't get any bites, we'll probably call it a morning and that'll be that. But it's been a good one out here today. Hope you guys are enjoying the bank beater heater series. I don't know how much longer we'll be doing this. Got an update on the, uh, trolling motor yesterday that's all we're waiting on is the part for the trolling motor they said uh they're still waiting on it to arrive yeah so we got a few more days that's only if the part arrives so we may have a whole another week of beating the banks ahead of us who knows but we're gonna find out three videos in the series so far i wouldn't mind making one or two more and if this is something you guys want to continue to see here on the channel make sure you let me know by liking the video leaving me a comment telling me that you enjoy the series Maybe share the video with a friend, tell somebody about the channel, help us grow this beast. If enough of you guys want to see some more, I'm totally down to beat the banks some more, even after we have the boat back. Send that feedback. Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. Oh, there we go. Yes. Saw him come up and grab it. Awesome. Nice little fish. Is that number 11, dude? Number 11. Yeah, he came up and freaking cracked it. That's one of the nicest ones on the day. More like that first one we caught. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a chunk, dude. Yee. Yee. Beautiful fish, man. That's a beautiful fish. Look at him. Awesome. Found us a hungry one over here. He swam, uh, swam up into the shallows out of that deeper cut up there. To come hit this fluke. Pretty fish, man. Just awesome. Let's get a little release on him. Hopefully without getting too splashed. Back into chill mode he goes. That was awesome. Got to see him come up and eat it, man. That's why I love fishing clear water, dudes. I love it. Get to see him come up and take a crack at it, dude. I grew up my whole life fishing chocolate milk, pure murk. Never got to see anything like that. Came down here and started bass fishing again. Dude, the clear water is what helped me fall back in love with the game. This lake right here is why you guys are seeing videos. Love the clear water. I know a lot of guys don't like it, say it's frustrating, whatever. Even I go up river to uh, get into some dirtier water, but dude, this right here, it's tough to beat it, man. Tough to beat this clear, beautiful lake where you can just watch them come up and eat. Too much fun. So I slowed my retrieve 
down compared to the last couple times I was out here and I'm just giving it single twitches back and forth. Twitch, twitch. And I reel almost simultaneously here. I'll, I'll pick my rod up so you guys can see. Twitch and I, I do a crank of the reel almost simultaneously with my twitch. Keep the slack out of my line. And that's how I'm triggering strikes today. Usually I'll fish the fluke fast like this. You guys will see me popping that rod tip three or four twitches at a time. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Reeling the whole time. But today I've sort of slowed down. I'm just making that bait jerk back and forth. One, two, three, four. Fish are moving a little slower. So I'm trying to mimic the fish. It's working. It's working. Is that 11? 11. And there that was, guys. We were able to get it done. Had some fun. Got a flat tire in the truck. It is what it is. You know the deal. It's always something with me. The struggles seem to never end around here. But we don't let that stop us from fishing. And I'm happy to say that we are going to wrap up the Bank Beater Heater Series in the next episode. Episode 4. I've already shot it. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. So if you're interested in seeing some more bank fishing footage from me, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stick around for Episode 4 of the Bank Beater Heater Series. The final installment coming soon right here on the channel. As always, big shout out to Six Sense Fishing. Check out SixSenseFishing.com. Use my code JR10 to save 10% off everything on the website. And make sure you send me a DM on Instagram with a screenshot of your confirmation and I'll give you a shout out on my Instagram. Everybody who uses my code gets a shout out. That's at the Justin Royal. Follow me over there on the gram if you're not already. Also, shout out to Waterland. Keeping my eyes protected while I'm down there by the water. Waterlandco.com. Those are the shades that I wear. Same code, same deal. JR10 for the win. Use that code to save the bread. Support the channel. I also encourage you to check out the video description. There are multiple ways for you to save money for yourself and support the channel at the same time if you happen to enjoy what we have going on over here. But most importantly, the number one thing that you can do is subscribe and kick those notification bells on so you catch all my future content. Help us grow. Help us color in the subscriber bar back there on the subscriber board and obtain the elusive YouTube silver play button. Can't do it without you. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed this episode three of the Bank Beater Heater series. And as I mentioned, please do stick around for episode four. I have a boat update coming soon. And then we're going to be back out there on the water aboard Beetlejuice, cranking and yanking just in time for fall. So stick around, ride with me, stay ready so you don't got to get ready. I hope you're all staying safe, sane, and healthy out there in this crazy world that we're living in. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.